manager is not on the outside looking in. The manager's whole identity and job is to be in the middle of every negotiation. But no, when it's disputing everything, the media is going off of saying happened and transpired. This manager ain't chimed in. But he was first on the scene when Mac Dre was propelled from his car and his body was on the highway. He took off his gold necklaces, you feel me, and tucked them. That's shady in itself, right? You know what I'm saying? Bam, but we don't talk about that. That's Miss Mr. Fab Cousin, you feel me? Mac Dre dies. Shit, them niggas take over the bay, nigga, you feel me? Everybody from SAC who was helping Mac Dre get forgot about and they take it back to the bay and act like niggas didn't have any part in it. They stopped dancing and that until this day shit been whack. You see how everything been now? Shit, the Asians and the Mexicans about the hottest thing in the bay now. But that all transpired when you don't protect your leaders. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And it was sad because, you know, Little do y'all know, the same nigga that Mac Dre let manage him, you know, because this nigga was old, 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 old Snoochie, a scandalous ass nigga, but he tricky because he always got a collar on, you feel me? You be like, oh, this nigga knows some business. But no, nah, this nigga ain't, this nigga got kids he don't claim and shit, you feel me? This nigga, you feel me, be living at other people's houses and shit, a real swindler, you feel me? Originally from Oakland, but... You know, came to sack and now he's claimed my hood. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Where me and my steppers, you feel me? We, at times, supposed to have Usalama on me. So we don't know shit no motherfuckers don't know. You feel me? But this a real dirty ass nigga. So let me tell you some dirty ass shit around this same time, right? A few years prior. The same nigga, the manager. We got this factor from our hood, man, you feel me, named Taterbug. Like, he's a real rider, he's a real nigga, like, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? He really put it down for our hood. But he cousins with this nigga, so Taterbug get out, and when you niggas get out and don't be knowing what's going on, y'all try to tap into it, and nigga, and some of these niggas ain't really about business, they out here swindling everybody. So, Taterbug tap in with blood, that's his cousin, though. See what I'm saying? When his family is different, they like to sweep shit under the table and make other people be guilty. So Fat Tone got killed. The promoter, nobody never did nothing to him, but that's not the point. Fat Tone got killed and he really, really just, you know what I'm saying? He did put out a song about killing the Dizzler man that never was put out, but he did put out a song like that and that's what got him hit. But really the code, the trail got cold on what, who really killed Mac Dre. And they got away with it. But back to this nigga. So we got the homie Tater Bug and this nigga Nucci go to Oakland and sell the East Bay Dragons bad drugs. The East Bay Dragons see the bad drugs and line the nigga up. You feel me? New C, he getting lined up. And sent his cousin Taterbug. They killed Taterbug. You feel me? Taterbug see it coming and try to hop on the freeway. They got him down. They had him all the way set up. You feel me? They was going to make an example out of Nucci for selling them fake, fake drugs, doing that bad deal. You feel me? So, that got brushed under the rug. You feel me? So now, little bro, like, you know, I'm going to catch everything. I'm top flight with it. So, bro, Nucci, like, oh, man, I'm throwing this function. I need you and the steppers to come to the club. <clears throat> you know, it's customary for me and my niggas to, you know what I'm saying, make sure, you know what I'm saying, the homie straight and shit. You know, it's a little homie, big homie shit. But, you know, that was back then. So we come to the club. And I sit in line and we watch everybody. He let everybody in. And when they get to us, they try to charge us. So I flip on blood. You feel me? Like, nigga, you got me fucked up. I ain't paying to get into this loosey motherfucker. Nigga, I wouldn't even be here. Nigga, you told me to come up here. Nigga, now you trying to charge us. So he trying to be like, oh, my bad. My bad. Come in. Let me buy you a drink. 
But now I'm mad at my homies and you didn't embarrass this in front of everybody. So I tell the nigga dead to his face. Come on, y'all. Fuck this nigga. I look him in his eye and say, nigga, you be around too many niggas first when they dead, when they body go cold. And I turned around and walked off, nigga. Because you know I know. Now, fast forward. It's a whole lot of hating on Cole, man. You feel me? Like, you niggas ain't forgot, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm worth more than my weight to go. You know what I'm saying? And I know where all them bodies is buried. You niggas thought. <laughs> Nobody was gonna know. Because y'all all put that money on. Uh, niggas not speaking up for themselves. And it's just weird because, you know, the world didn't change. I done seen the world change, man, because of our leaders, you feel me, being knocked down and then niggas taking their movement and turning into something else. You see all this violence in the world. One thing about Mac Dre was, you can say he was a rap star or you can say he just used that shit to promote and build itself. Like, one thing Mac Dre was showing them young niggas and, and them niggas, man, he was fly. They was attracting a whole lot more business to their table. And when you don't funk with people and you happy, when you go to a Mac Dre show, I swear to God, it'd be white people and everything in the, in the uh, audience. And that's when we knew that it was different. You feel me? You could be with Mac Dre and he, they just bitches is popping up with Mac Dre tattoos on them and shit. Man, we didn't, hella nice niggas. We didn't, we didn't tour with Mac Dre and just because we were the entourage nigga, we, we getting, we getting filet, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And and that's how it was, bro. Everybody had opportunity. Niggas started getting money. When them niggas when, when stupid dropped, Mac Dre didn't give none of them niggas nothing. They was they was dry and jealous. When 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 stupid dropped and them hits that them Sacramento niggas was creating with him, Mac Dre gave him the bins. Mac Dre gave him his range. When Mac Dre gave Bad Business his Granada, his flip Granada, he be rapping about. Y'all seen him in the Bay coming up in? Because he thought Bad Business was special. Bad Business looked like him. You feel me? Bad Business had the swag. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Bad Business, but, un but living true to his name, Bad Business did Bad Business, and Mac Dre got rid of his ass. You feel me? So... Bad Business was gone when all that bullshit happened to Mac Dre. Shit, if he probably kept Bad Business around, he he's a little troublesome nigga, but he bad he bout that he bout that life, and that's probably the only nigga in the crew that was he had danced, but he was letting nigga down too. Probably wouldn't have happened like that because nigga, you have a bad business with you, you got a shooter with you, that'll die for you. You feel me? So a lot of that hate and separation is why the movement gone. And now you see these fake niggas trying to relive it and everything, man. And and his message was really, man, coming together, getting money, being positive, though, because that's going to attract more business and more. We was going higher level, bro. Wasn't just putting the Berry Berry and all that shit on. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I swear to God, he was really, like, living like that. So, And he was showing niggas that. And it was them older niggas that was constantly trying to come in and put that gangster shit with it. So as soon as Mac Dre died, what that nigga J Diggs do? Ain't no more dance until that we killed the nigga who killed the Thizzler man. Niggas ain't he busted the dance and shit yet. You tell nigga go stupid. These niggas don't even know what they doing. They just emulating. You feel me? And that was the whole up and down region. We turned around and and and, and Drake just came out here and, and told the whole world. Hey, man, I got my swag and, and some of my hits from emulating Mac Dre. And my whole bigger point of this is, man, you Sacramento niggas better stand up and take your place in this history, man, and quit letting these niggas say or try to tell these stories and don't even mention no 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 places, no names or nothing. Y'all niggas, they was, Mac Dre wasn't it out there. It, Kick the Sneak wasn't out there. Uh, man, we seen y'all niggas too much out here, bro. Straight up, nigga. We sold y'all weed, y'all drugs, the whole shit. So it's kind of weird y'all be acting like Sacramento ain't always been up. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, man, rest in peace, Mac Dre. Y'all should be asking more questions. 
You feel me? Like, yo, where the promoter at now? What's his side of the story? What's the manager's side of the story? Because you should have been handling the money. If these niggas wasn't paying for Mac Dre or the venue wasn't right, ain't that your fault? What was you doing with his gold chains and the dead body? Nigga, you been around a lot of your homeboys' dead bodies. I don't want nobody like that around me. Hey, man, it's your boy K-Code, man. Tune in. We got some more shit we gonna be uncovering.